Unraveling the meaning of long lost friend. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English language. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, long lost friend. This expression is rich in emotional context and is commonly used in English conversations. So, let's unravel its meaning together. Long lost friend is a compound phrase made up of three words, long, lost, and friend. Let's break it down, long. This word often denotes a great amount of time. It suggests that something has been happening for an extended period. Lost, in this context, lost, doesn't refer to misplacing an object. Instead, it implies that there has been a lack of contact or communication, possibly due to various circumstances. Friend, a friend is someone you have a bond of mutual affection with, typically exclusive of sexual or family relations. When combined, these words form a phrase that describes a friend with whom you've had no contact for a long time, and with whom you've likely lost touch. Long lost friend is often used in scenarios where you unexpectedly reunite with a friend after many years. For example, I ran into John at the reunion. He was my long lost friend from high school. Receiving a letter from Maria was a surprise. She's been a long lost friend since we moved away from each other. These examples show how the phrase is used to express surprise, nostalgia, and sometimes joy at reconnecting with someone important from the past. The phrase, long lost friend, carries emotional weight. It often evokes feelings of nostalgia, remembering the good times shared in the past, regret, perhaps for not staying in touch, joy, at the prospect of rekindling an old friendship. Understanding these emotions is key to comprehending the depth of the phrase and how it might be used in conversation. Long lost friend is a phrase that beautifully captures the essence of rediscovering a connection with someone from our past. It's not just about the time elapsed, but the emotions and memories tied to that relationship. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.